when time comes to get up, there's no way. I can't like, I can't just, <coughs> I can't just get up. So what I have to do is either have somebody help me. <sighs> this is just absolutely sad. And you know what? She knows what she's doing. I know a lot of people might be feeling bad for this individual, but I will assure you that this individual gained weight on purpose for the satisfaction of many men in terms of the pleasuring of themselves. And I have no problem with people engaging in sexual activity for the purpose of pornography. Like, hey, if that's what you want to do, that's how you make your money. I know people that do way, 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 way worse. You know, to be honest, I've let a girl pee in my mouth. It is what it is. The point I'm making is like, if that's why you make your money, it's fine. But it is kind of crazy to do this for the purpose of sexual satisfaction. I mean, we're literally looking at a woman that literally physically cannot remove herself from the floor without assistance or with severe effort. And to top it off, as she gets older, this is going to 100% negatively affect her. I don't know if she's on that Nico avocado thing where she's only doing this just to get the clout, just to get the attention, just to get the money. And then after all of that, she's going to like cash out and lose all that weight, which by the way is over 600 pounds. Not even joking with you. But what I will say is that if she does continue down this, which I know she is, uh, I checked her Instagram just to ensure that she is the same size as she is. Yeah, she's still fat. I don't know like what the goal is with that. But if you are doing pornography, um, that's fine, but this particular type of pornography is quite deplorable, dude. I, I don't know what dudes are out there, like, severely beating off to women that are over 600 pounds that can literally not remove themselves from the floor or a chair. I don't know what it is, personally speaking, dude. I've beaten off to weird stuff, don't get me wrong, but this is on some different shit, dude. I'm gonna give it a buck. I am actually judging you if you beat off to this. It is what it is, though. Um, you know, if you wanna beat off to me, I, that's fine. That's actually great. But beating off to this, that's not, it's not, no, this is terrible, disgusting. And also, I wanna point out she's wearing Vans, which are like the most slimming shoes out there. Like, their their purpose, their, their purpose there is to show that her feet are very, very small in comparison to the rest of her body, which they are. Her feet are like really, really tiny compared to everything else. I mean, 600 pounds, this woman should not be 600 pounds or over 600 pounds. I think the highest I've ever seen her was like 650. So she should actually probably be around like 150 at most, dude. I mean, most women are probably comfortable around that level, but 600 pounds is on a different, different level. And really, really pay attention to the noises that she makes, too, while she makes this video, dude. Like, she, she knows what she's doing, dude. Like, she knows that people are watching her just for the sole purpose of meat beat. And, like I said, it's fine if that's what you want to do, but this is crazy, dude. To go this far? To eat this much? Just to please a few guys on the internet? How much is the subscription? How much is the, the, the picture? How much is the video, dude? What are you even doing, you know? Like, for, for what? Damn. God damn, dude. And you think it was big. You thought she was big while she was sitting down. But when she stands up, like, really, the stance is crazy. The stance of, like, having the legs lift out like that because there's so much chub rub in between that area. I know people that are, like, I don't know, 210 pounds, 250, and they tell me it's very terrible to have that chub rub, to have those inner thighs rubbing together consistently. They tell me it's really, really uncomfortable and, and it hurts a lot. I couldn't even imagine what it'd be like for an individual such as this size, 600 plus pounds, and having that chub rub. And keep in mind, it's not just in that area, dude. You're having chub rub under the arms. You're having chub rub underneath the, like, whatever, you know, how many boobs you have, man or woman, you're probably going to have a lot of those. And D to have all those issues just because you want to appease or you want to make some pornography or you think that this is like sexy in some particular type of way, I, I personally, I just don't understand it. It's like when I see homeless guys or I see people that are just perpetually drug addicted, like I was at the, I was at the McDonald's the other day, right? I was getting a large iced coffee, right? For a dollar because I got the app and I walked in and there was a guy with no teeth and he walked up to me and he said, sir, sir, do you have a dollar? Do you have a dollar for anything? And I said, no, I don't have any cash, which is true. I don't have any cash, right? And this guy, I knew he was drug addicted He's because he was literally splurring out like spit out of his mouth and he had no hair. He had no teeth. It was gone. Like I knew he was drug addicted. And I thought, 
what is this what is this guy's goal in life like is it just really just to sit here and do drugs perpetually until the very end that's extraordinarily sad right but then again it's his life to live that's that's the goals he set forward and the same thing could be said for this woman to be 600 pounds to appease men to sit there and be the size that she is because somebody's got to do it it might as well be me it's crazy i'm gonna keep it a buck it is kind of crazy like I, I i could think of many other things that i would rather do instead of pleasing men in this particular type of way but Maybe I just don't get it. Maybe somebody down below can tell me because when I see stuff like this, I'm not I'm not thinking about how great it is or like how erectile, how erectioned I am. Like I'm not thinking about it. I'm thinking about this woman is literally probably deducting 20 something years of her life. No joke either. Like this. <laughs> think about the amount of pressure. Think about the amount of work your heart, your lungs, your fucking organs have to process in order to keep you alive at this level. It's crazy. Can you imagine moving like you're 74 years old at like 28? So easy. <laughs> so easy. <laughs> I'm about to go see if the fa it, It's just really sad, dude. I, I don't feel bad for her, dude, okay? She's doing it to herself. She knows what she's doing. She knows what she's doing. That's really what it comes down to. Like, if she knows what she's doing and you feel bad for her, don't. It is what it is. Ever 21 in Times Square has still a sign. They say big, big bitch get to the big. Hey, better. That's what I like to see. B2 is you know what I love about <laughs> you know what I love about uh, Samira is that she has a 100% switch. Like a lot of people have a code switch where maybe you talk a little bit more. I don't know, dude. Like ghetto, or you talk a little bit more like cultured, if that makes any sense. Like we all do it to us one degree or another. But I've noticed that when she talks to individuals on a plane or behind the counter or whatever, she changes the way that she speaks drastically. And she would consider that to be talking like a white person which i don't consider that to be talking like a white person i don't i don't know how, how that works i've met plenty of white people that talk ghetto and i've met plenty of black people that talk white well so there's no thing there but i just wanted to point out because i see her talking like that quite a bit plus so why is it on the basement i am so sick of having to go to the basement. like she can't she can never it's you can never appease these these people dude. just to sit there like you have the plus size section right where is it like to see b2 is plus b2 is plus men's accessories man we can't ever get a whole floor to ourselves dude look at this bro how many floors do women have look at g women b1 women lingerie shoes and activity how much one bet all that is just women all of it you basically just said women women and then here us men we gotta share a whole section with accessories plus and kids we can't even get our own floor or not even a half of a floor dude we're sharing it by the way, the plus size section is going to be big as fuck. Just from the, the fact of you're going to have to put all the same amount of clothes that you would have put in the woman section, but you're going to have to increase the floor space because one shirt in the woman section is going to be like whatever size compared to what it is on the, the, the ginormous section. It's going to be massive. So, no, we don't even get one floor, dude. And I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of going into retailers and looking around for a shirt that says small. And then I look and I look and nothing, there's nothing. And then I go over and I see all the other guys that are just sitting on like the sides of windows or on the floor waiting for their wife or their girlfriend inside the changing room to come out. They're just depressed. It's terrible because they know they can't buy anything either. It's sad. Like, what am I going to do? Go over to like the, the, the dress shirts and dress up like I'm Charlie Sheen from Two and a Half Men. Nobody wears those shirts. I'm not playing golf. So it's like, we don't have anything. We have no options at all. And you know what? Part of it is our fault because we don't take care of ourselves. Have you ever seen a guy in the deodorant section? They don't exist, okay? Guys don't wear deodorant, okay? I know a guy that literally spent three years wearing the same stick of deodorant. I don't know how he did it. He made it last. That's all I can say about it. But when it comes to, like, guys taking care of themselves, you just don't see it. Oh, you know how long I've been wearing these underwear? Years. Like, at least three years. They have holes in them? Yes, of course they have holes in them. But I'm not getting rid of them. What are you talking about? I hate shopping so much that I would never... I would never step into an establishment. Like, you have to force me to go into a store and buy socks. So, I don't know. Maybe it's my fault. But even still, um, a whole floor dedicated to women. Women active wear, lingerie and shoes. And then we get to share with the accessories, plus size, and kids. <sighs> what if we, you know, it's fucking terrible. Plus, so why is it on the basement? I am terrible, man. Why is it in the basement? We're sharing the floor with you. Men, us, we are sharing the floor with you. I don't complain. If I even see a men's section, I'm like, oh, thank God. Maybe I can finally buy like shoelaces. So I'm like going down there. So like you, you're over here complaining. You guys having a plus size. You're literally on the same level as us. Can you think about this, right? Hold on. Think about this for a second. 
not only is she complaining that the plus size in the basement, right? But she's complaining, the- think about this idea. I'm not even complaining that the men are in the basement and we are half of the gender. We are half of the gender and I have to share a floor with big backed people. Isn't that fucking crazy? I'm half of the gender and I get a fourth of one floor and you take up the next one third of it. So like, what is, what is, what is the thought process? I'm not even complaining about that. I'm happy to even see it. I don't give a fuck if this stairs, I have to go downstairs. I don't care. What the fuck? I'm glad that it even exists at all. So like, that should show you the level where Samira is even thinking about right now. Oh, we have to go down the basement. Yes. Samira, I'm sorry that the way they arranged the store, they just so happened to put the plus size section in the basement. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't complain knowing that I'm half the fucking gender and I'm in the fucking basement. I don't care. What the fuck is wrong with you, Samira? So why is it on the basement? I am so sick of having to go to the basement. I'm sick of having to go to the basement. Dude, why? Like, dude, this is not... This is not something to complain about. I'm so sick of having to go to the basement. You're literally just going down an escalator. There's literally no effort involved. All you have to do is stand from one place to the next. You're literally doing nothing. And you're over here talking about, I'm sick of going to the basement. All right, Samira, keep complaining, dude. Keep complaining. To the attic, why can't I just be in the house? Oh you are in the house. Are you unaware that the basement is a part of the fucking house? What is wrong with you? What do you consider the basement? Like a, a separate entity itself? No. I'm, ground floor. I'm sick of it. Now I'm getting confused because where are the plus sizes? That's all men. What do you mean that's all men's? Don't act like there's a lot. Don't act like there's a lot of stuff. There's like a one rack of shirts. There's four pants and there's probably like one and a half shoes. This is skinny people clothes. The bag. I'm getting pissed off. Is this it? Dude, she can't be appeased, dude. I'm, I'm just sick of Samira, dude. She can never be satisfied by anything oh, man. like she's over here complaining about going to the basement while literally on an escalator think about that for a second on an escalator this is skinny people clothes the bag i'm getting pissed off is this it is it all of this back here this would like to see this would like to see if you ain't got at least a full x you ain't trying yeah the way to be faking like they're making all the sizes if you ain't got at least a full x you ain't trying Ooh. yes and that's exactly- I just, you know, Samira really gets under my skin in ways that I can't even comprehend, dude. She can never be appeased. She does these videos on purpose to make it seem like everybody else is like crazy or like, oh my God, I can't believe that we're gonna have to go to the basement to get our clothes. Okay, Samira, that's, that's really how we're doing it, huh? You can't be appeased by anything. The issue that fatness indicates a shorthand that is cohesive with slobbiness, laziness, being mentally unhinged, which, you know, is definitely happens, but it happens to all people. And it is a specific trope of fatness in this specific delusional way. I won't, I've met a lot of fat people. I wouldn't say that they're more likely to be, I don't know, mentally disabled in the sense of being crazy. I don't think that's the case, but definitely sloppy. Definitely people that are lazy. Definitely people that are in maybe lazy in different ways. Like a lot of people would consider laziness to be, I don't want to go to a job. I don't want to walk. I don't want to go outside. A lot of that could just be attributed to, you know that this is bad for you and you just do nothing about it. Or just like you spend most of your time just ignoring the problems that your body is having. Like I would consider that to be lazy. I would, I would consider that probably be the main, the main laziness factor for most of these fat people. So, and again, by the way, Baby Reindeer, if you guys don't know, Baby Reindeer is a Netflix show uh, about a crazy stalker lady that stalks a very skinny man that did cocaine that dated a trans lady. Oh, uh, pff, spoil the show. Dude, the show's been out for like four months. What do you fucking want from me, dude? It's like she's fucking spoiling the fact that Darth Vader is Luke Skywalker's dad. Oh no, what's gonna happen? Dude, the show's been out for four months, okay? If you haven't watched it, I don't know what to fucking tell you, dude. I haven't watched it either. I just know that particular part because a lot of people have told me about that shit. I literally watched the first episode and I was like, I don't care about this. Uh, I actually kind of like the girl. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like I watched the first episode of the, 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 the whole show and I was like, oh wow. She actually seems like she's interested in this guy. I don't know what that tells me about me, like, being around. Maybe I've just dated a whole bunch of women that just shown zero interest in me. But I don't know. Like, maybe I just put up with, like, different stuff. But regardless. And if there were more and- She's fat in the show, by the way. Better representations out there, this wouldn't be such a big deal. But because there aren't- I don't know what you're expecting when it comes to, like, representation of fat people in media. Like, you can only go so far before you have to, like, suspend disbelief to, like, a different degree. So, like, what do you want in movies? Let's, like, can we just name some stuff out there? Do you want, like, fat superheroes? 
okay but like you do realize that if you're a superhero that usually means that you need to be performing in a physical way and that probably indicates some type of physical muscularity or something like that not fatness and sure there might be a character that's fat but most of the time the characters that are fat are probably fat because they ate too much or they're just like that's a part of their character so even in those particular performances it's not going to make any sense like you what you're asking for is like you want to suspend disbelief to such a degree that it just it's outside the realm of our reality and even outside the realm of like realities of like cartoon or even comic book universes you know like it's i don't i don't know how far we're gonna go it makes a little bit of sense like i'm not i'm not even one of these people right i know there are a lot of people out there that say like oh you guys don't like women in shows or movies and things like that i personally don't care as long as the shit's written well i don't really give a fuck when it comes to fat people in movies you guys are never satisfied like you get fat people in your shit and then you still complain that he's not fat enough or the actor's not being played by an actual fat person they had to wear a fat suit when the reality of the situation is how the fuck are we even going to get a fat person on the set dude this guy's supposed to be literally 600 pounds for the movie how the hell are we going to get an actual 600 pound person in the movie i don't know and by the way we need him to be an actor too if you're 600 pounds there's little to almost nothing you're going to do at 600 pounds so like what do you want exactly dude how far do we have to go to suspend our disbelief to appeal to you people nations out there this wouldn't be such a big deal but because there aren't this just furthers everything that's already out there and in people's heads when they show her apartment and it's covered in like food containers and stuff like that like what do you think that says about fat people lazy eat a lot of takeout uh probably you know don't clean up after themselves probably don't wash as efficiently physically their body they probably don't do that very often seems accurate yeah seems pretty fucking accurate i mean you might not re meet any of those stereotypical stereotypical stuff um i have seen amberlynn's house it's unusually clean i i I, sometimes I watch her and I'm like, dude, her house is like cleaner than mine. Like she actually puts in effort. And that's really sad on my part because it just means that I don't clean my house accurately. But I know that she doesn't clean herself accurately because she literally said she couldn't take a shower for literally over a year. Like she physically could not wash herself for over a year because she was so fat. So even though her house isn't clean, herself aren't, isn't clean as well. But regardless of that, yeah, most of the stereotypes are true, dude. You guys literally get a lot of takeout. Like, what does that say? Hello? There is already a long-standing stereotype of fat people as not taking care of themselves. And, hello? Like, Why do you keep saying hello, dude? Stop, man. That's, that's right there. That's exactly what the issue is. Like, it gives people permission to be cruel to fat people because... Bro, first of all, look, okay, man, I understand what you're saying, but you have to not a Netflix show isn't going to convince people of something that they already know. Like we're all you're doing at that point is just showing off what the information that we already know is true. You know, what do you want from us, dude? Okay, like I, I, I'm friends with a lot of fat people. They don't have the best dietary functions. They eat terrible, disgusting stuff. I literally know a dude that literally eats like two or three little Debbie uh honey buns on a daily basis and i even tell him like bro these honey buns are not even joking with you like 400 calories 500 calories and he'll go yeah but these shits be tasting good in my mouth dog i love these shits he's not even black i don't know why i gave him a black accent but the point i'm making is there are plenty of fat people that you and me know that fit those stereotypes exactly and i i know it sucks to say that shit but sometimes there's truth to it and you might not feel good about it but it doesn't matter how you feel because it just upholds the idea that, oh, they don't take care of themselves. It's all their fault. They're all weird and creepy and bad. Like, what you are saying... I don't know about weird and creepy, dude. Okay, it just so happened that she was weird and creepy. And it just so happens that she was fat simultaneously. I don't know why you're trying to lump all those things together as if, like, regular people or, like, people in general think that fat people are going to be crazy stalkers that are going to, like, track you down, slice your tires, microwave your hamster, and tell you that you're fucking... You know, the only one for them while they have a gun to your head. Like, nobody's doing that shit. Nobody thinks that fat people are doing that. And especially not people of that size anyway. Like, baby reindeer girl was like 340 pounds or maybe 400 fucking pounds, dude. Like, she's not even really walking outside the house, let alone, like, stalking me down the fucking street and finding out what car I drive. You know, like, stalking your mom for, like, three years straight. You know, way too shy to ask her on a date type shit. No, probably not, dude. Most of the time... Like, you could be a crazy stalker and be fat, but most of the time, if you're going to be a stalker, dude, you got to be in shape because there's a lot of effort involved to, like, you know, stalk me, dude. I gotta, what if I'm really active? Like, what if, maybe if you're inside all day, but, like, even in the show, the guy was doing a lot. Is exactly my issue with it because I think probably there was some element of, like, oh, let's make the aesthetics cohesive to show this person is a creepy stalker. The, the show was based off a real person, you know that? Like, the guy that plays in the show, actually, that was the story. Like, he, that was his story. That's the real guy. 
and this is his first-hand experience with this. And to, con contrary to what people believe, the show is pretty accurate, apparently, compared to, compared to the story that he told. So when you say this, right, you go like, oh, we're just, like, perpetuating stereotypes of fat people. Nah, bro, that's just, like, what happened. And I know that it sucks to say... I know that it sucks to say this, bro, but it's true because that actually happened to this guy. And you're sitting here trying to tell me that it's wrong. How is it wrong if this is a fucking true story? Like, what do we... What the fuck are we supposed to do? What do you want, dude? Like, fucking, oh, yeah, the fat person in real life, I went up to the house and it was like a fucking mess and they were fat and they were disgusting and there was grease stains underneath their armpits and stuff. But, you know, we can't include that in the show because guess what? If we did, it would be, like, sad to, like, fat people. What the fuck do you want, dude? That's, like, literally what happened. IRL. Real life. Like, factual evidence. Like, that is what happened. The guy that is the main character in the show, it is about him. It is the actual guy that got stalked by that person. Okay, whatever, dude. Whatever, man. Like, that's very possible that that's what the thought process was. And that's often what the thought process is. It's that thought process because that's literally what happened. Media where there's a fat person used as a tool for storytelling. You know what's really sad is that this person thinks that it's like all a ploy or like a big... Like, oh, let's do this because it'd be so funny, you know, type stuff. But the reality of the situation is, no, this actually happened. So... In a way, her saying this, in a way, Tracy's saying that this is, like, all wrong or, like, this is a negative context to fat people and this shouldn't be portrayed this way and the directors or the people that made the show are really bad for making the show this particular type of way. The reality of the situation is she's dumb as fuck because she's actually basically confirming that this is how fat people actually are because she's saying that fat people aren't this way when the show is based off of a true story about this individual that acted that particular way. So you're actually confirming that this is how fat people act while in the process of telling us that's not how fat people are. So <laughs> oh, I can't make it up. In film and theater and any visual medium, obviously we're going to draw on these stereotypes to make this like convenient shorthand for like, who is this person and what is the audience supposed to think of them? And it's just really hard to watch that happen over and over again when you are the shorthand for disgusting, creepy, aggressive, and at the end of the day... Uh. Yeah, but it's okay, though, because, like, there are plenty of movies where they portray white people badly, black people badly, uh, maybe some negative context on a lot of, like, people, stereotypical stuff, like women, stuff like that, but that doesn't necessarily mean that should negatively affect you. Like, I remember, I remember growing up, right? And we watched a show called Roots in my, I think it was middle school. I think it was middle school. I don't know what grade it was. It might have been early high school. But we watched Roots, right? And I went to a school that was 99% black. Like, there maybe was, like, three Latino kids. But I was, like, the only white person. Like, there was three other white kids in the entire school, and I was two of them. And so I remember we were watching Roots, and the amount of looks that I got when we were watching that show, when the dude got his foot cut off, or like, you know, my name is Toby, my name is Toby. And they were like, no, like, my name is Kuta Kente, and, you know, whatever. I got tons of fucking looks. And people were saying like, this is what you did, David. This is what your people did. You did this, huh? You fucking disgusting, vile person. And I'm just sitting like, bro, I don't even, I get free lunch. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, I'm here with, I live down the street from you. What are you talking, I'm in the same boat as you. Like, what, you know what I'm saying? But that that's what, that's what it was, bro. But that's okay because I didn't take it personal because obviously I didn't enslave any black people that I know of. So when, when you sit there and you watch a negative stereotype about the people that you are, I get what you're saying. You're saying that like it throws you under the bus inadvertently and you don't like that. But simultaneously, get the fuck over it. If it doesn't apply to you, it shouldn't hurt you as much as you think. Like, it is obviously hurting you. It doesn't make sense, bro. Like what do you want from us? Using it as a shorthand is using the existing trope, but it's also creating that trope and perpetuating it further and making sure everybody keeps on thinking that so that for the next movie they will once again have this even more convenient shorthand of fatness equals sloppy lazy disgusting etc that's fine you can say all that stuff but the, the 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 factual the facts here the show is based off a true story and a first-hand experience of the person that's literally making the show so you can say this and all that great stuff, but um, the reality of it is you're fucking, I can't even believe how dumb this is. Like that show is, you, you're literally, you're literally stupid, Tracy. That's that, that, that whole thing was just for nothing. Like you could have done a better show that would have, like if you did any other show with somebody who was fat and also a serial killer and also ate sloppily. Oh wait, no, they don't make those shows very often, huh? 
Uh, I guess I guess it was the only option, even though she didn't do the research enough to like find out that that shit was actually a real story. Raise your hand if you know what this is. Big, ginormous, b doesn't fit. I don't know, dude. Pearl necklace. Raise your hand if you know what this is. Seatbelt. A is for airplane and B is for belt extender. Okay. Why do you have to say A and B? Okay, seatbelt extender. What's wrong with that? You need one of these? I think more fat people should be carrying these around, especially if you know that you're not going to be able to fit in certain places, dude. I like we watched that one video of uh, Jay Bay saying that she doesn't fit in car cars anymore. So like when she hires like an Uber or like a Lyft, um, she literally cannot put on the seatbelt, which is going to be not good, especially if you're sharing the ride with a driver or somebody else. It's not good because you're putting my life in danger and yourself in danger. And it's also against the law, depending on the state, unless you live in, like, New Hampshire. So you have to buckle up. And if you physically can't buckle up, what the fuck am I doing? Like, uh, Jesus Christ. So if you need a seatbelt extender, you should probably be carrying your own. A lot of people are not going to be carrying seatbelt extenders because you're so fat. That's crazy. Yes, for my lovely friends that did not know what this contraption was, this is for those of us that struggle buckling the seatbelt on the plane. You, you know what's really crazy, too, though, is that... She'll sit here and she'll say like, oh, I have to buy seatbelt extenders. Like if you need to be, if you need to buy one, you should buy one. But I also think that you shouldn't buy one because you're fat as fuck. Like you should probably just lose weight instead because then, you know, instead of just buying a seatbelt extender, which will help you in a few scenarios in your life, you could just instead not be as big as you are to need a seatbelt extender and instead be smaller enough to actually be accompanied by most everything in our society. So there's like an easy solution, which is like just buying a seatbelt extender, which is basically just a band-aid on the bleeding, gaping wound. But the reality of the situation is like you should just be losing weight so that way you don't have to be fat anymore and have like tons of issues with being fat. Like that anyway, yeah. That lots of my big back bitches are traveling this upcoming summer and I want you to be safe regardless of what other people have to say online about you being on the plane I want you to be safe on the plane and I want you to ask for a belt extender I want you to be safe in general dude I, I would love for people to be as safe as humanly possible all the time ever for all the time right and one of the one of the ways that you can be safe as a big backed bitch or anyone else is to be in the appropriate weight range to ensure that everything fits you correctly and or you can run in certain situations or jog or just remove yourself from a situation or even do stuff like get up out of a seat appropriately all that stuff could be right then and there could be attributed by losing weight but you know what yes yeah, sure buy seatbelt extender dude i guess if you need one you need one it is what it is use accessibility devices i have no problem with people using crutches where they have to use them it's okay but it seems like a lot of this shit could be alleviated if you were just not fat instead of buying seatbelt extenders or like other accessibility devices to try to ease your way through your life when in reality your life is going to be hard regardless like the seatbelt extender is going to be helpful but it's like dude what you can't buy a seatbelt extender for everything in your life now, please know that for the purposes of this demonstration, I did purchase this, but you should not purchase one. Dude, okay, look, if you're on an airplane, it's fine, but sometimes you need a seatbelt extender in certain areas that you're not going to be able to get one. So, for instance, if you catch an Uber or a Lyft, you're not going to be able to get one. That's, like, most of those people are not going to carry fucking seatbelt extenders because they're not those types of people. Like, these are private citizens that are employed by Uber. They're not, it's not their job to own a, a fucking seatbelt extender. They can deny transportation for you. So if you know that you're going to go in a seatbelt or you know that you're going to be placed in an automobile or another environment where you need a seatbelt and you know that they're not going to have a seatbelt, but you show up anyway because you feel like you shouldn't have to buy your own seatbelt, that's fine. You can totally do that. But just understand that you're being the inconsiderate one there and you're most definitely probably going to be denied that ride because I don't want to be in a car with somebody that physically cannot buckle up. I know it's like really cool and there are a lot of people out there going, no, nah, man, I would never buckle up. That's for pussies, man. I guess I'm a pussy because I buckle up every single fucking time. I'm not trying to get into a car accident and fly out the window like I'm in GTA 5. I'm just not about that life. So I'm buckling up and I'm sorry when you buckle up, you just can't like get that extra slack, right? Because you have that big back disease. Well, then buy that seatbelt extender, dude, and have it on you if you know you're about to go to a particular establishment. Like, for me, you know what I do when I leave my house? 
I bring a bottle of water, I bring napkins, I bring tooth floss, and there's, there's a whole bunch of stuff that honestly I, bl I bring with me, sometimes even a fork. You know why? Because sometimes I find myself in environments where I need to floss my teeth, right? If I eat something, I don't like having stuff in my teeth, so I floss, right? It looks weird. I know people look at me differently. It's okay. I don't care how people look at me. I'm, I'm taking care of myself. Fuck you. You don't even know what floss is. You know how many people I know that don't even know what floss is? A lot. So I floss my teeth, and you know what else I have? I have water. If I'm dehydrated, or I'm coughing, or I have something in my mouth, I'm taking sips of water because I'm ensuring my hydration level is adequate and I don't need to go out and buy four dollar bottles of water because I already have one on me and you know what else I need napkins just because I need to blow my nose or I sneeze or anything else I have all these things on me you know why because I'm being inappropriate I'm being responsible and I'm taking I'm taking full accountability for myself instead of letting other people do it for me and it's a gamble. You're never gonna be in a situation where somebody's gonna have all those things for you and that's why would you even bank on that to begin with dude so if you need if, if you're talking about flying most airlines are gonna have seatbelt extenders for you so you're probably good but if you're taking like ride shares or like taxis or anything like that then probably get it yourself or you could just lose weight i mean that's always an option too i mean it's, it's literally probably the most optimal option but you know what hey what do i know bro you should not purchase one don't be going on amazon and get no belt extender ask for the ones that the air but she bought one like what's the purpose though? I just don't I just don't get it. Is it just for the video? Like you yourself purchase the fucking the seatbelt extender for the purpose of telling me not to purchase the seatbelt extender. Okay. All right, Samara. I provide because they are tailor made to most safely fit that particular buckle. Okay? Okay? Okay. Um, the lesson was if you're a size medium here in the states and you're going to Japan, stay closed. I'm sorry, but I I have to be this person to make this video. I really wish that when thin people had experiences like this, and go watch the video if you want more context, but I wish there would be some like critical thinking as to like, oh, this is how plus size people must feel in America. Th these people are some of the most entitled people I've ever seen in my life, dude. Can you imagine? Can you imagine having this issue, right? You're a regular medium-sized person. I don't know what a fucking medium-sized person is. But usually when you go to like other countries, typically Asia, the sizes are going to run smaller because people are usually smaller in those countries compared to westernized countries where people are big. So obviously this is going to be an issue. Obviously pack clothes and things like that. But nobody's entitled to think about, oh, wow. You know, when I... When I went to Japan and I couldn't find any clothes that fit because I'm slightly bigger than all the sizes there... This is how fat people are all the time. Nobody's entitled to think about that. Like, why the fuck would you think that we're thinking about that? That's so fucking weird. What is wrong with you? Like, why do you think that you have to be uh, uh, in our psyche 24-7? You're not that fucking special. Nobody gives a fuck about you like that. Like, what is the... Okay, whatever, dude. Um, go off, queen. I mean, I'm willing to listen to what you have to say, but I'm already, like... I'm already kind of upset, given the fact that you think that I'm supposed to, like... What? Like, Wikipedia fat people plus-size clothing problems? Oh... This is how plus size people must feel in America to go to a store and no one carries their size. It's also not critically thinking. It's just sometimes you're not thinking about it because you just don't care, right? Like, obviously I care about Star Wars, but if somebody was like, "Do you, so you just don't care about Star Trek? Like, you have all this stuff about Star Wars, but you never think about Star Trek? Yeah, no, I don't, like, at all, like, ever. So, you know, like, because I have interest here and not there. And just because I don't think about that other stuff doesn't mean I'm less of a human being or, like, I have less fucking critical thinking skills. Fuck you, by the way. That's really fucked up to say. That's so offensive, by the way. That's really fucked up to say. <laughs> Mighty Murfin, whatever, Flash. That's really fucked up to say that I don't have critical thinking skills because when I go and fucking buy clothes and they don't fit me, I'm not thinking about fat people also having the same problem but daily. I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't know why the fuck you think that that's like you're so entitled to have my opinion in my head about you. Who the fuck are you? What the fuck are you talking about? Fuck you. Anyway, don't, you know, she's a great person. Great person. To travel to a different country and not bring enough clothing with you and realize you're not going to be able to fit It's going to be tough too if you're really big. Uh, one shirt is probably the equivalent of like three shirts for me. Like, because if you're massive of an individual, and I know this person might not look that they're very big, they don't have a lot of upper body oomph, but definitely on the lower body, it's crazy. I almost couldn't believe it. Like, when I checked on there, because they were off, they were making all these videos, and I was like, they don't look that big, right? They don't look that big. So I checked on the Instagram, and I was like, oh my god, they are really, like, if the body was like this, like, you know... Like, it, you, it's so far off the fucking frame. That's what it looked like for her. She has so much weight on the bottom half. It's crazy. And they even have made tons of videos 
expelling the fact that when they get clothes delivered to them, the pants never fit, which is, uh, yeah. I mean, obviously, if you're holding literally like 70 to 85 percent of your weight in your lower your lower body what is gonna fit you dude jesus christ like what do you got like a, a 70 inch waist like do you know what i'm talking about it's like what do you do what do you what do you want dude no not naturally nothing's gonna fit you but anyway into anything you can buy there this is why plus size people overpack that's actually happening to me right now because i am flying this weekend and i'm trying to cram as much clothing as i can in a tiny little suitcase because I know if I forget something or need an extra set of clothing, I probably won't have access to that. Why do, why do so many people travel so often? Like, what are you doing in these other countries, man? Especially as a plus size person when you know you're going to have all these issues. Like, for, for me, I just don't, I don't like traveling. Like, I don't know. I just don't get it. Like, I get it. You can see, like, I don't know, samurais and stuff. Like, I don't know. What do you see in Japan? Like, bullet trains? I don't fucking know, dude. I don't know. Like, what do you see in Japan? But, like, whatever, I guess. I just want to know, like, why these people have these order of operations set up in this particular type of way. Like, oh, yeah, if I shop in America in general, I won't be able to find clothes. I don't even know what it's going to be like in Japan. What the fuck are you doing? Like, why do you still have these issues, dude? Why do you have these problems if you know you can just get rid of these issues? If you have ever felt in your life like you can't find clothes that fit you and you are a straight-sized person, please think about buying from brands that actually do carry plus size clothing or advocating for people to get more access to clothing nah i'm good dude i'm good dude i don't want to do that i'm i'm actually all right like i, I really don't want to do that i know you want me to do that i'm good um you know what i would you know what i really want you to do too though actually if i'm gonna do that i'm I, you know anytime you think about like let's say anytime you're thinking about throwing something away I think that you should probably think about just cleaning my house, like just coming over, mopping my floors, vacuuming up a little bit, um, probably just giving me your whole bank account, matter of fact. I think that you should probably think about that a little bit, you know, also think about how beautiful I am sometimes. Um, I'm probably going to need you to think about how beautiful I am all the time, matter of fact. I think you should probably do that. Do you see how dumb that is? Like, why the fuck should I have to think about you or like plus size people in general? Like, what are you talking about? Like, what the fuck? Like, oh, yeah. Dude, what are you talking about? No, I'm I'm good. I'm 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 actually really good. So getting in that car wreck and almost dying last night gave me a lot of fucking perspective, and I'm done being silenced. I don't give a fuck no more. If you guys don't, if you guys don't recall, a few a few months ago, a few months back, Leo Skippy had made a video where he was saying some shit like, "Oh, fat people have you know you're not entitled to just get clothes anywhere. If you're fat, you're outside the norm. You're not gonna be able to fit in clothes everywhere. It's obvious that you're not gonna be able to get things." Um, and a lot of people came at him and then he apologized, which I was thoroughly against. You can probably check out the video. I don't know if I have a link down below, but, um, I thought Leo Skippy was a bitch for backing out. I mean, I'm going to keep it a buck, dude. He really backed down. It is what it is. I mean, I, to be honest, and, and, and I can't really like necessarily blame him tremendously for that because he was probably getting a lot of hate, a lot of hate. I mean, it's, it's a very tough thing for most human beings to be liked uh, solely and then the next day it's like you're getting millions of people telling you that you're gross disgusting horrible so i don't blame him but simultaneously he should have never backed down if you're not wrong uh don't apologize and he apologized and he said that he was wrong and that was really sad i mean i don't blame him because i understand the situation that he was in it was probably very taxing morally and mentally speaking so yeah it makes sense but um this is about that video gave me a lot of fucking perspective and i'm done being silenced i don't give a fuck no more that all that fat phobia shit that went the fuck on let me address it how i've wanted to where i couldn't because everybody told me not to fuck pr and fuck all this business shit let's talk for real i have never in my life treated someone poorly because of their fucking skin color or their weight that's one thing i don't play about i'm not for that shit if i treat somebody bad it's because i don't like their fucking character and that's one thing no one is ever gonna do to me again is make a claim about my character and say i'm this and say i'm that and get away with it i'll correct you every fucking time yeah i've said shit that's insensitive i didn't understand there was a whole fucking language about fat phobia and to say oh i want to lose weight is considered fat phobic it's tough because not everybody has this like idea like it's it's terminologies or lingo that a lot of people may have nowadays that maybe a lot of people probably don't even understand like a lot of people will sit there and go oh it's just yt women i didn't know what that went i don't i had no idea what that meant i thought it was just youtube women but apparently it means white women or there's other terminologies and and, and ways that people talk and think that 
a lot of people have no idea about, but there's like a big t like TikTok community or like Reddit community or somewhere else where that's like really appropriate to talk about. So I, I don't blame him for not knowing things because how could you know everything? Like, you know, uh, if you're not like really in depth on the, the internet communities or like you're not like, it'd be like me getting upset with you because you didn't know that ray skywalker wasn't actually a skywalker you know what i'm talking about like how the fuck are you supposed to know if you're not interested in that particular genre or you're not like invested in that particular place like it's not your fault you're just ignorant and that's okay it's okay to be ignorant i'm ignorant about a ton of stuff i don't know anything about cars i don't know anything about fucking you know uh lizards and shit but i know there are plenty of people that do but that's all right because i know things about other things and that's okay too the point i'm making is like I'm not going to hate on him for saying things that regular people would be saying, but the internet doesn't approve of. It's like very different brackets there. So when when Leo Skippy said what he said, he probably thought it was okay, but then the internet got him. And obviously he had to cave to that because the hate was probably unbelievable. And, uh, you know, it is what it is, man. Take that in for two seconds. Not everybody speaks this fucking TikTok language. I haven't said anything or done anything that is in line with that again. The growth has been in front of your eyes. Yeah, he's kind of still like, he's kind of still moving the goalpost back a little bit, though, is what I'm seeing here is, is that she, he's basically saying like, okay, I did something wrong and I've grown from that. Like, sure, bro, but I'm gonna keep it a buck. You didn't say anything incorrect. You might've said it in a little bit of a derogatory way that a lot of people might contribute to be a little bit hostile. But in general, the context, the idea of what you were saying Nah, bro, it was good. You didn't need to actually cave. You didn't need to say, you didn't need to say like, I learned from that or whatever the fuck. You're good. You didn't even need to learn from it. You said what you said. It was correct. <laughs> Literally, it was good. You didn't need to say anything else, bro. You were all right. Stop, don't move the goalpost back. S die on that hill. I said, fat people shouldn't be entitled to just buy clothes anywhere since they're fat. Just die on that hill. You're good. You're good, bro. That's, that's fine, bro. Anything or done anything that is in line with that again the growth has been in front of your eyes but apparently y'all need it pointed the fuck out i truly feel bad for the people that i hurt without realizing certain shit that i was saying sometimes i don't really care if i hurt certain people that i don't like look sometimes you could say something as simple as like i think cats are superior to dogs when it comes to having pets and i know there are going to be a lot of people that are going to be offended by that but that's okay. I don't care, dude. That's what I genuinely believe. I think cats are better. I think cats are fucking great. I think they're beautiful, amazing people. And I think they wash themselves appropriately compared to dogs. What the fuck are you going to do about it? Just simply saying something like that, you're going to offend people. So if you sit there and you say, fat people don't just deserve to have things because they're fat, you're going to offend a lot of people. That's fine. That's fine. And just simply having the ability to think is going to offend somebody and i'm not saying that you shouldn't be navigating the world with the best intentions to try to ensure that other people don't get hurt around you that's fine but if you're saying something as truthful as fat people don't deserve this just because you shouldn't feel like you're hurting somebody and have to apologize for somebody being hurt by something whatever dude what the fuck ever dude like what do you want from me i i, I what like it is what it is, dude. You're going to get hurt. You're going to get hurt. It is what it is, man. Like, you know, it should be really up to the other individuals. Like, if I tell you that I think cats are better than dogs, it should be up to you to be a tolerant individual to understand that even though I have this opinion, you have that opinion, it's okay. You're a grown man, woman, whatever, and you're just going to go, well, it's all right. Like, it's cool. You should be man enough to do that. Even if you're upset, you should still be able to, like, recognize that it's okay. Like, you're a grown-up. You are an adult. My actions have proven that I've educated myself and changed it. So let me- I, I also don't like it when people like bring up like, oh, I've educated myself, therefore I know now. Like, no, I don't care, bro. You're good. You're good. I don't know why. Like, even even this, he's still trying to, he's still trying to like get a little bit of like, no, but I grown, right? It's like different now. I'm like better. What are you talking about, bro? You were good before. Let me make it very, very, very clear. I have no issues with nobody's weight. I've never made fun of somebody because of their fucking weight. I have. <laughs> i have bro yeah definitely a lot Whew. a lot bro listen if you ever take a walk with me dude i'm gonna keep it a buck it might sound a little bit weird or a little bit mean but i love doing it okay if you ever take a walk with me i'm making stories up in my head i'm walking around i see people doing certain things i'm making voices up i'm talking about what they're doing how they're acting i'm making noises it's funny to me i love it i don't know maybe you think it's fucking weird i find it very entertaining and usually the people that i'm with they also find it very entertaining unless they're going david stop you're being too loud stop that you know but it is what it is what the fuck are you gonna do about it i make fun of people all the time and i'm sure other people make fun of me i don't care it's all right the point i'm making is how you even know like none of these people know that i'm making fun of them or uh none of these people know that i'm i'm i'm, I'm doing it at their expense it's okay though like if, if you're just a regular person on the street 
and you don't owe anybody anything ever. It is okay. Trust me, it's fine. I've made fun of people. You've made fun of people. It's okay. Human beings do that. Be clear. I have no issues with nobody's weight. I've never made fun of somebody because of their fucking weight. And the people who knew me personally on this goddamn app who came out and went- Yeah, bro, like Drew Alfo. Dude, there was plenty of people that stabbed this dude in the back. A lot of people actually that didn't even watch the video, bro. And that's actually really crazy to me that there were so many people on the internet that were throwing Leo under the bus. So like Drew Alpho and who's that one, Tess Holiday? Tess Holiday made a very bad video that she deleted and you can actually check it out on my channel. I think it's called like the dumbest person on TikTok, fucking, you know, whatever, um, Tess Holiday, Cause she literally was saying that this guy was fucking terrible, disgusting and all this other shit. But if you watch the video, you actually, within like 30 seconds, you realize, holy shit, this girl like literally didn't even watch the video. Like she's just commenting on something that she saw somebody else commenting on, which is crazy by the way. Like you would think that if you, you would think that if you were going like, to make, make a response video on something, you would actually respond to the video that you're responding to instead of like, I don't know, seeing a clip on like Reddit or seeing a clip on like Twitter or something like that. Sorry, X. And making a response video off that. Like, are you fucking dumb? Like, what's wrong with you? So there was a lot of people that like came at uh, Leo Skippy and nobody apparently, like, I'm sure there was plenty of people that stuck up for him, but he couldn't even stick up for himself. So it was, it's tough, bro. Sometimes you need somebody in your corner. And if that person can't be you, hopefully it's somebody else. It's tough. It's tough, bro. Wait, and the people who knew me personally on this goddamn app who came out and went with this whole narrative, oh, we found out when you did, that reveals I never once made them feel uncomfortable for fucking shit. I defended these fucking people and I have loved everyone fucking fairly. I realized last night when I always had my life taken from me, I'm the only person ever gonna defend me. True. I'm the only person who is ever gonna stand up for my fucking character and that's one thing you can never question with me. Yeah, and you shouldn't, you should also, that should be like day one. There are plenty of people that are gonna turn their backs on you when it's optimal or do some things and it's really fucked up too because like, Sometimes you didn't even do anything wrong or maybe you did do something wrong But it comes out later that you didn't actually do anything wrong and those people like that shat on you They get they get you know, it, it happens a lot. It really happens a fucking lot But regardless guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed today's video If you did I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like comment subscribe sharing the video all that stuff I'd appreciate tremendously because that stuff helps me grow in the algorithm So I can help if you could do any of that stuff for me. I would appreciate you tremendously um, 0% of you are subscribed, so make sure you subscribe. Thank you for that people that are subscribed. Thank you for the people that are members. I appreciate every single one of you. If you watch the video in its entirety, leave it down below by typing in receipt because this guy was bringing some receipts to the table, even though he was pushing the goalposts back to try to make it seem like he wasn't as bad as he was, which in general he wasn't. He wasn't bad at all, but it is what it is. You got to cater to people sometimes on TikTok, so... It is what it is. You're a beautiful specimen, by the way. I love that little hat that you're wearing today. It looks really, really great. I really enjoy that you're getting your skincare on point. I was gazing upon your elbows the other night. Don't think I'm weird for that. Your elbows were very lubricated. I couldn't help but to acknowledge the sparkly, the beautiful. Did you put some contour? Did you put some like sparkles, some highlight on your elbows? No, that was just your elbows? Wow. Uh, well, they were angelic. They were beautiful. They were spectacularly sized. I love the way that they were contoured upon your body very beautiful um spectacular even i love you uh make sure you check out my social medias enjoy the rest of your day guys